Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So, basically, if you've been watching the show, you've heard me say several times that the Democratic Party has become the Nazi Socialist Party. They even call themselves, right now, Democratic Socialist. And I just read something very disturbing. What was the number one thing for the Nazis? To get rid of the Jews, right? I'm going to read you some of this article. Not, not, not all of it. Because all of it is not deserving to be read. So this is from The Hill. It's posted by Justine Coleman on October 7th, 2020. And the title is Fire Set in Hasidic Community in New York to Protest COVID-19 Restrictions. So from the title, it would have you believe that Hasidic Jews are setting fires to their own community to protest Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York state I that's not true I know it you know it but they've stolen the Nazi playbook so much that now they're openly attacking Jewish people and the press covers up for it so for those of you who say and are wondering how a whole country full of people supported an evil regime like the Nazi party you are witnessing it. History is repeating itself. This is sick. It's disgusting. I'll read you some of the article. Just let me read you a little bit. So it says protesters. That's the first wrong thing. Now that Dan has some experience on editing and helping you rewrite your dumbass articles. It should say looters and anti-Semites. Set fires in Brooklyn's Hasidic community on Tuesday to demonstrate against coronavirus restrictions scheduled to go into effect on Friday. But if you read further down in the article, it's not actually what happened. So it says Orthodox Jewish and other religious leaders blasted New York Governor Cuomo for instituting new COVID 19 restrictions that will close, blah, 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 blah. Basically, they're closing down synagogues and stuff like that. And then he had the nerve to put it in on the eve of Shemini Arset. Or Atzeret, that is a Jewish holiday. I'll have to read up on it. I'm not really familiar with it. Then it, the article goes on to say, video of the demonstration shows several Hasidic men, most of whom are not wearing masks. Notice how they throw that in there? Notice how they throw that in there? Even though the CDC and WHO have admitted that these masks, one, are not effective. You guys remember <clears throat> when the CDC came out with all the West Coast fires and said, don't bother wearing the masks because they're not, uh, um, they can't stop the smoke particles from getting into your lungs. And then somebody very astutely brought up, well, COVID particles are smaller the smoke particles. So how are they mass effective? They're not. They're institutionalize you. And I was really kind of, you know, in or out on the mass. Hey, if the CDC says they work, then they work. But when I keep seeing evidence that the CDC and the WHO, the World Health Organization, which is beholden to China, keep changing their minds and keep changing their statements, I'm not so sure. But notice how he threw that in. Then the article goes on to read, take to the streets at 13th Avenue in the Borough Park neighborhood, the New York Times reported. And you know that's a leftist rag and they're full of crap. The protest then turned violent with reports of at least one Hasidic man being assaulted. The man reportedly spent the night in the hospital. So, here's what you want me to believe. 
a bunch of Hasidic Jews went out, burnt down their own stores, their own neighborhoods, and then started fighting each other. Call it what it is. Your brown shirts showed up and attacked these Jewish people. And I believe it because that's what the squad has been doing. Ilian Omar, AOC, Rashida Tlaib. They've been openly attacking Jews. And see, there's an argument that goes on in the black community and the Jewish community. Not really an argument, just a disagreement. Because <clears throat> don't get me wrong, there is a tribe in Africa that carries King David's bloodline. So it's really more of a discussion. But if they're going to do that to our Jewish brothers and sisters, who we have a DNA link to, once they've gotten rid of them, what are you going to do to you? The Democrats are at the point of loading Jews up on a boat, on a train, on a bus. And all that's left is the gas chambers. And who do you think is next? Remember, Hitler hated blacks much as he hated Jews. So if you've ever wondered how so many people, a country full of people, Germany, fell for this, you don't have to wonder. You can look. You see it. Posted a video yesterday where the New York Times, the same dirty liberal rag, is calling for the UN to come in. And I listed those UN members China, Russia, Iraq, Iran to come in and take control of the United States. It's time, honestly, that you get things straight, you get your affairs in order. Because things just got a hundred times more serious. When you attack Jews in the street because of their religion, you are a Nazi. When you send your brown shirts out, or in this case, black shirts, to harass people, to set fires, to burn cities, you are a Nazi. Look at AOC, how she speaks. She took a big part of her cue from how Hitler speaks. And I'm not speaking with no knowledge. Hey, Hitler was an amazing orator. He spoke with a lot of emotion. And if you watch the Democrats, all they speak with is emotion. No facts to back it up. They would have you believe that these Hasidic Jews started fighting amongst themselves after burning down their own neighborhood and sent one of their own to the hospital. They would have you believe by this statement the man reportedly spent the night in the hospital. You know how injured you have to be to spend any time in a hospital. You have all the information. I'm giving it to you. It's right there. You're looking at the enemies of democracy. You're looking at the enemies of America, the United States of America. You're looking at him. They're right there. And they're showing it to you. And we refuse to believe it. I'll ask you why. Why? Because pretty soon, You'll be loading your Jewish neighbors up, your Jewish and black neighbors up on trains and buses. Send them to the gas chamber because you're falling for this mess. It's time to shut down the Democrat Party. See, here's the thing, right? When I first started this YouTube channel, it wasn't a conservative channel. It's just me saying what was on my mind. But as I read and I learn, and as time goes on, I'm realizing how evil, how racist, how anti-Semitic the Democrat Party has become. It has. There's not even a question about it. Not even a question. They put it right there. 
Ilian Omar is so anti-Semitic, Congress had to come out and sanction her, but they wouldn't mention her name. That tells you the Democrats fear their own young. I don't fear my young. Most Americans don't fear their young. What have they become? Ask yourself that. What has this become? You're attacking Orthodox Jews in the street. You're attacking black men, black women in the streets. I'll never forget the video. 73-year-old black man, black conservative. Of course, he had his own business. He's a businessman. Stabbed in the back by a white guy. Doesn't even make mainstream media. <clears throat> you have to go to these little off-sites to see it. These little off-news web pages. We're under attack. And that attack is being led by the Democrat Party. They're anti-Semitic. They're anti-black. Believe it or not, they're anti-Mexican. They're anti-Latino. Now you're wondering, well, Dan, they want to take the borders down and let people through. And, you know, and, and, and no. If you talk to most people from Mexico, and I have a lot of friends from Mexico, good people, love them. Because I don't put people who aren't good in my life. I recommend you all do the same thing. They want legal immigration. They want a wall because they know what comes through that border. Look at Florida. Cubans outrageously support Donald Trump because they know what Cuba was like. They know what it's like to live under a socialist, Nazi regime. So, but go ahead, observe the fight for power. It's just really, when I read this article, I was like, I, you know, I got to do a video on this. Because <clears throat> this has gotten, I keep saying they're Nazis, and man, when you're attacking Orthodox Jews in the street, you're a Nazi. Hate to tell you. Hate to tell you, you can justify it any way you want. But I know you Democrats, you're going to justify it with emotions. Well, Trump's racist, even though they won't give you any evidence. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So uh, thank you for watching this uh, rant episode of the Daw Dan Dawson Show. <clears throat> the Dan Dawson Show, right? Like, subscribe, share. Do what you got to do.